Weather brought to you by jwolf.com. Value driven. Coming up on 742 on this Sunday morning, of course, the big story throughout the day is going to be heavy snow, literally from New England all the way down to the Carolinas. We are joined this morning on the phone by Fred Cunningham, the morning anchor at WSPA-TV in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And as I mentioned before, if you don't follow this guy on Twitter, you should because he's an absolute legend. Fred, how are you this morning? What's it look like Good there? Good morning. Hey, uh, holiday greetings from snow-infested <laughs> South Carolina, or at least part of it. Well, tell me what it's like. I mean, this is something that people, I suspect, in this part of the country are not used to. We get about, you know, I'll, just to let you know where we are uh, on, the, on the map, we are in the upper left-hand quadrant of South Carolina, right by the North Carolina line, which means we're about 20 miles from the mountains. So we do get a little bit of winter here. We probably get about three snows a year. But this is the first time we had snow actually on Christmas Day. It started falling about uh, about the middle of the day yesterday. It's the first white Christmas in the upstate of South Carolina since 1963. So it's it's very it's very rare to have it hit on the holiday. But uh, if, if you're in the Midwest, what you would see here today would be like nothing. You might not wear <laughs> shorts basically because we've got officially on. Um, on the Cunningham Home Family Railing, uh, really scientific. I took the uh, I took the ruler out of my daughter's book bag and put it out there. We have officially one and three quarter inches. However, to our north, up in Asheville, North Carolina, which is about an hour from here, they got about six and a half inches. So people are pretty much are socked in on a Sunday. Although I've already been to my grocery store and they've got a full post Christmas supply of milk and eggs and bread. So really, there's not a whole as much French toast being consumed this morning <laughs> as you might think. Is this the kind of snow that would probably cancel school had classes been in session? Yes. If we were in, in if school was in session, absolutely everybody would be blown out. There's there are times when they will uh, postpone school uh, even on the threat of something coming. You know, to be honest, I mean, you know, and I'm from a Midwesterner by birth, and sometimes you, you kind of smile at the reactions, but we have a kind of an interesting area because we're so close to the mountains. You can be in one part of just the same county and see maybe a little bit of snow, but maybe 10 miles to the north as you get closer to the mountains, they can actually have it turning over into ice and that kind of thing. So that's a lot of the reasons why schools will get canceled here when it might not seem like it's a big deal even if you're in the same county. And, again, if you're in the Midwest and you would be here today, it would be like, you know, you'd, you'd have lunch outside today. <laughs> he is Fred on TV on Twitter. And, as I say, if you don't follow him, you should. Fred Cunningham from WSPA-TV in Spartanburg, Spartanburg, South Carolina. Fred, a pleasure. Take care. Merry Christmas and post day. And you guys have a wonderful uh, day up there in KC. Thank you, Fred. Well, first news time is 745. Tensions between...